With the world going virtual, it looks like everyone has some form of presentation to make, maybe a Zoom presentation, a board presentation, or a keynote presentation in summits and virtual Zoom events, etc. And many of my clients and mastermind group members have been asking about, hey, Sharon, how do you actually present and design and develop a keynote presentation? Well, that could be a much deeper topic. I wanted to give you something that I'd done as a training for one of my mastermind groups about a year ago. And this breaks down like a holistic structure on how I generally think about and design a keynote presentation. I walk you through the thought process, the structure, what you should do, and how you should start, middle, and finish of the presentation itself. This short 15-minute training can give you the exact blueprint on how you can create your next fan-generating, award-winning presentation. And it all starts right now. One thing is for certain, just because it's tried and true doesn't mean it's working right now. So the big question is this, where can you learn what is working right now? The strategies, the tactics, the psychology, and the exact how to, how to grow your business, how to blow up your personal brand and supercharge your personal growth. That is the question. And this podcast will give you the answer. My name is Sharon Srivatsa and welcome to Business School. everybody. It's Sharon Srivatsa coming to you live um, on uh, this week's strategy call. And the interesting part is, this is a question that I get asked often is, hey, Sharon, how do I prepare for a presentation? How do I prepare for a presentation? And as I get ready to actually do a keynote this weekend at one of my friend's uh, retreats, I want to share with you how I personally think about preparing for a presentation. And it is probably one of the most joyful things that I get to do. And most of the time, the funny part is nobody has really taught us what to do. So before I do any of that, I want to share with you a very quick story. So here's the story. Um, I had a group, an international company reach out to me and uh, want to book a keynote for for a year from now, so next summer. And I said, sure. So I worked through the process of booking the presentation. We got everything dialed in. We had the speaker contract and all of that. But the interesting part is they said, well, Sharon, what is your presentation going to be about? And I said, a year, it's a year from now. I said, I have no idea. And they said, well, we need a title. We need to know the title and the topic of your presentation so that we can promote it effectively within the company. Now, I can give them a bogus title. I can give them, um, you know, what I'm going to talk about. But what they have been used to for years, what everybody has been used to for years is everyone just slapping a fancy title on a presentation and just handing it to you, right? Uh, we are in the business of keynote speakers sharing, we're in the business of keynote speakers sharing canned presentations. I always have a canned presentation on leadership or lead generation or the automatic uh, funnel or whatever it may be. And I said, well, I'm not ready to do that yet. And they said, why not? I said, you know, I said, don't you know what you're talking about? I said, of course I do. But Here's what I share in the presentation. Everyone talks about their standard set of principles. I can share that with you. Everyone starts about their standard stories. I can give that to you. Everyone starts about their canned presentation. I can give that to you. But you know what I talk about in my presentation? I'm just a little different, right? I talk about what I did that morning. I talk about what I did yesterday. I talk about what I did that week to build and grow my business, to build and have a better life. That's what I talk about especially in today's world, when the world is changing so much, my entire presentation is live. It is about what I am doing right now to build and grow my business every day is what I deliver. So my content is not new content. My content is my life. My content is my work. My content is what I'm doing. My content is everything that I'm working on. 
And that's why if you and I have ever had a chance to like present and speak and work together, you will know that there is no fluff in what I do. It is live stuff because I'm not saying that's the right fit for everybody. I'm just saying that's the right fit for me. That's why for this weekend's presentation that's coming up, I have I have no preparation. I know exactly what I'm going to talk about. I have my slides sketched out. I have 10 slides. And then, and then what I do is I just go through and teach exactly what I am doing and what I have learned in the process. Exactly what I'm doing and what I've learned in the process. What I am talking about, what I present is what I did this morning. <laughs> is what I did this morning. I want to share with you what I did on Instagram. I want to share with you what I did on Instagram this morning. If I want to share with you what I did in email marketing, I want to share what I did this morning. If I want to tell you something that impacted me, I want to share with you what I spoke on the 5 a.m. call this morning. The, the relevancy of today's information is super powerful in how we run our world and all our lives. And people can look right through that. They can look right through that because they know they, you put a random quote from Plato and you have to like talk about that and they know your canned story. They know what they don't know and what they want to know, what they're thirsting to know is how they can get out of the rat race, how they can beat the shackles and how you can deliver the results. So if you are in a place where you have to deliver a presentation, don't sweat the presentation. Talk about what you're doing right now. Heck, I, I did a presentation to my mastermind group on everything that I was doing right now that was not working. Say it again. I did a presentation to my mastermind group on everything that I'm doing right now that was not working. These, these are 10 entrepreneurs, a billion dollars in sales, a billion dollars in real top line money, not like random you know, equipment, billion dollars in sales. And I tell them what? On the things that are not working, not working. What we present, what we share, the world has changed completely. The things that you watch, your presentations, have people have to walk away and be like, wow. Like they need to like you, admire you and get action from you so they can do what you do over and over. You build a results oriented brand, not an inspiration brand. You build a results oriented brand. You get inspiration through results. You don't get results through inspiration. Very different, right? So let me give you the structure for all my presentations. And I think uh, I weave these in based on where and how and what the audience is. So let me give you the overall structure for how I do it. So let me back up one last time. If you are ever going to do a presentation, a keynote presentation, it is not about a canned topic. It's not about a canned story. I will tell you right now, the most joyful thing you can do is what you did that past week. Take them through a case study. Take them through how you run your business. Show them the numbers. Show them the results. Show them the pain. Show them the email that you wrote. Show them the Facebook post that you did. Show them uh, the, your calendar and your meeting schedule. Show them your agenda. Show them the marketing materials. Show them the the the, the Gantt chart. Show them the the, the software plans, show them your, uh, show them your, your drafts of your emails, show them, uh, sh show them the number of messages that you're in, are you're in inbox that you can't solve, show them everything so that they can connect with you. What you present on needs to be live. What you present on needs to be what's happening right now. It's not a canned presentation. We don't live in 1960s anymore. The way you win is by showing your results. All right, here's a four step process that I use and I use this all the time, whether I'm answering a question, whether I'm building a presentation, whether I'm structuring a keynote, it's I, I ask myself these four questions and I actually do that and I start writing, right? And I'll just sit in my car a lot of times uh, right before I get in the house and I'll just write, hey, what's in my keynote for next weekend? And I build every keynote, I build every keynote from scratch. Like I don't re, I, I may reuse portions of the slides, but I build every keynote, every structure, every story from scratch because every audience, um, the way in my life, where, what I have just done, what stories I'm going to use are very different. I build it all from scratch. Now that may seem like a lot, but you and I are not professional speakers. Like I, I probably, t I'd probably take on maybe 15 to 20 paid engagements a year. Like that's maybe one or two a month. I can afford to do that because I'm not speaking every single day. That's not my livelihood. That's just a way for me to build and grow and give back. So here's the four step process, right? Number one, why, why, what, why are you doing this? 
Like it's very easy to answer. Once you answer the why, it becomes very easy. So uh, let me give you the why. The why is generally the title of your presentation. Um, the, the event that I'm speaking at, let's use the event that I'm speaking at this week. And all I have done for that, which is just a couple of days away, is all I have is this process, the why, the four step process. Number one, why? I had to come up with a why because uh, I had to come up with a why and I thought a lot about it and I realized that the connection that I have with the audience and the, and the organizer of this event is he's a coach to small business owners and most people in that room are going to be small business owners. So I said, huh, uh, what does a small business owner really want? They want to grow their business. No, a small business owner doesn't want to grow their business. A small business owner a small, a big business owner wants to grow their business. A small business owner, what do they want to do? They want to grow their income. All right. They want to grow their income. That's why they have a small business and it's okay. It's just at the end of the day, it's our income. So I was like, okay, how can I build something that drives income? So my why, my why became income growth. Like I got to build a presentation for income growth. So that was my why. So now I was like, okay, what is my what? The second thing is the what. Now I'm like, well, what am I going to discuss? What am I going to share? How am I going to bring this why to life? The what. And the what is growing income is interesting, but what if I could build a program that said how to double your income in the next 91 days? right? Everybody has the cliche of 90 days. So I wanted to give them a pattern interrupt, right? So I didn't say how to double your business because that's too open-ended because you and I can double our business. You and I can double our income. You and I can in, in 40 years, that's not interesting to you. What you want is now. So how can I double my income in 91 days? That is my what? So my entire presentation has to be around income growth and doubling income in 91 days. So now I have the why, which is income growth. I have the what, which is how to double your income in 91 days. Number three is the how, the why, what, and the how. Now my how, I actually have to walk them through what they need to do to double their income in 91 days. I'll give you the framework. Uh, my, then I had to come up with a framework for that because you just can't say here are the 10 ways. The framework is traffic, systems, and skills. You need to generate traffic, which is eyeballs and attraction. You need to put them all into a system so the system works while you're not working. And then you need some skills to close them. And I'm going to give, walk them through the examples of how they can do exactly that in 91 days so that they can double their income, not grow their business, double their income. That is the why, income growth, the what which is how to double your income in 91 days. And then it's the how, which is traffic, systems, and skills. So now that I have that, what is the fourth part of the puzzle? Let's say I've done this entire presentation and I've laid it out and I've talked about how to double your business in 91 days. I've given you the why, the what, and the how. I've given you the traffic, the systems, and the skills. I've given you all this information. You're sitting in the audience. You've taken down all these notes. You're like, oh my gosh, this is fantastic. I get it. I got these eight pages of notes. What is the problem? You know what the problem is? We have failed as a speaker. We have failed as a facilitator. We have failed as an influencer. We have failed as a steward of their time if we don't do the fourth part. The fourth part is the most important part. The fourth part is where you bring this entire experience to life. You know what the fourth part is? Here is what you go do right now. What is the first thing you need to do? If you do all of that and you don't tell them the first Thing they need to do and you don't make it so crystal clear and so crystal clean and so easily implementable. They don't know every other domino. Here's what happens. You've already given them every domino, but what you need is to give them, is to empower them, is to give them the tools, is to give them the, the, the motivation, is to give them the inspiration and is to give them the exact uh, no BS way of knocking down that first domino because otherwise all the dominoes that you have taught and, and explained and set up for them is completely useless because they will never knock down the first domino. That's the problem. That's the problem. So I'll tell you this again. Why? Income growth. What? How to double your income in the next 91 days. How? Traffic systems and skills. What do I do first? Not what do I, what do I do first right now? And I explain to them what they do right now because if they do that, 
I've helped them identify their first domino that completely starts to change their life. It gives them confidence that they can go do the other things in their life, in their business to get to that goal. It makes it clearer. It makes it cleaner. It gives them more clarity. It gives them more belief. And it makes it makes it worthwhile for them that they were there, they listened, and they shared that experience with you. How to prepare for a keynote presentation is all about stepping into the audience and realizing why the heck do they care? What can you actually share with them? How can they actually do that? And giving them a chance to knock down the first domino. Because if you don't give them a chance to knock down the first domino, you're, all your work is 100% useless. Anytime you go to a presentation and you don't get the support of knocking down the first domino, you know what has happened? No one has ever taught them on the greatest presentation skill and secret of all times, which is never, ever finish your presentation without explicitly showing them how to knock down the first domino. All right. So that is the uh, how to prepare for a keynote presentation. I hope you appreciated that. Thank you all so much for joining me today and all the uh, interaction. Uh, if that's helpful, please uh, give me a comment below. And uh, I appreciate you very much and uh, getting ready for your next keynote. Think of me, think of that and uh, go wow your audience. Hey, Sharon, I have a cool gift for you. I took some of my best ideas from the last 20 years and created a five-day MBA. It's quick and action-packed that you can listen to on the go, just like this podcast. And I want to give it to you for free, just as a thank you for listening to the show. No fluff, no gimmicks, just pure actionable ideas for you to use instantly. You can grab it right now at businessschoolshow.com. That's businessschoolshow.com dot com.